afternoon again to ProStock viewers. Uh, we're on uh, our series of Brutalist Architecture with our guest, Amon Kali. So for those that are just tuning in, please watch the previous episodes where we talked about Brutalist Architecture and Peb Hut. And uh, the very innovative Amon Kali, who is really championing the concept of Brutalist homes in the Philippines and abroad. So last week was very interesting as he walked us through uh, the concept of a pebhut. In this episode today, we will see the live works that uh, architect Amon Kali has. So um, Amon Kali, over to you. I think the first project that we will be talking about is called the uh, hydroponic home. Yes, yeah. All yeah. right, so take it away, sir. This is really... Hydroponics. So for those that mahilig mag plants, okay, and wants to have a, a, a garden anywhere, I think this is a great discussion. Yeah. Go ahead, Amon. Okay. Yeah. So um, this project is um, located in um, Antipolo Rizal. So yeah, I mean, the concept of hydroponics didn't came from us. It came from the client. So this is one of the uh, beautiful, beautiful thing during the design process is um, you learn from the client on um, how they want their home to be, what are the special features. So with that, we were able to create this um, beautiful form of art um, and a sustainable form of art, which is the hydroponic home. So um, it has the same concept of uh, uh, where we elevate, we elevate the main living structure. The ground floor is more of the, for the parking um, the hydroponics and it also has um, a a crafts room for the for the owner to to work so yeah so this is a family this is for a family of four so family. yeah so it has three bedrooms uh -huh. and um, yeah three bedrooms a uh, work a work area um, and a simple living living room and a kitchen so um, I think I'll just run through the, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, it's really so, beautiful, Amon. I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at the pictures. So for those of you who are tuning in, it's really fascinating. So again, the grandiose, <laughs> it looks, it looks imposing, but it's slim. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, you said, no, uh, this is a family home. Yeah, yeah. Right. So this is a great uh, for those who are watching. So Peb Hood is something that can be leveraged and used for a family home. Yes. Yeah. All yeah. right. So sir, yeah, continue to walk us through this. Yeah. So um yeah. Um yeah, so this um uh the hydroponic home, um yeah, it has we we kind of reduce the footprint. Um, than a, a typical three-bedroom home. So we reduce the, reduce the footprint. And then, um, so in that way, um, this, we have more open space um, around, the, around the area. And then uh, we don't need to use firewalls and, um, uh, yeah, firewalls, because um, this is in a subdivision where they allow us to use one, um, one wall which can be a firewall. So if you um, if you use a firewall, you will be restricted with the light and ventilation. So you wouldn't mm. have windows. So we decided to just reduce the footprint so we could have access, full access for the um, lighting and ventilation. Uh, so you you you're you're following the building code, right? So that's why you, you say you're, you're saying you reduce the footprint so you don't need to raise the the firewalls. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In a way, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, so in that way, the interior spaces are kind of smaller. So that is also a challenge. So I'm going to show the, um, the photos of the bedroom. Um, yeah, so yeah, it is kind of um, a loaf, a loaf type of, um, um, a loaf type of um, layout as well. So uh -huh. the sleeping, um, the sleeping area is um, in a loaf. And the um, the the place on the bottom is um, for work 
uh, for working. So mm. uh, designing these kind of spaces is you have to be um, creative in the in the layout when you're dealing with small spaces. And um, yeah, because of the pibhut, we are now like um, well versed in designing these small spaces. So uh-huh. um, yeah, that's a good thing. Right, right. I mean, I think it's a it's a very uh, well thought of mm-hmm. space utilization because some you know it's very big, but it's not functional. The way you laid it out is very very functional. Yeah. All right. So this is what you call the hydroponic home. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. wanna add that um, mm-hmm. like the hydroponic home, like the I mean the vision of the client is um something into efficiency and uh, sustainability like um right. what if like if you are in a home and what if you're able to supply like yourself with um with these vegetables and uh, uh with vegetables and crops and you can also supply your neighboring um your neighbors so in a way you reduce the the travel of goods to consumers um uh, so yeah, yeah um, so it's like the farm to table and yeah yes, farm, yeah, yeah so fresh um, yeah so you are um creating a sustainable network like they don't have to go to the market or um yeah especially in this time of uh, of uh, yeah especially these times that um we are restricted with our movements so um right. also um something that could help us moving forward Right, it's great because uh, you're you're achieving the the elements of pebhot, but yeah. it's also adapting to the lifestyle of the user or you yes. know the owner of the house. All right, this is great. So let's take on your another example of your work, uh, Amon, the gray area. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. the gray area. This is this is a massive. Uh, look that i'm i'm seeing so yeah. walk us through this one yeah so um gray area is uh located in santo tomas batangas mm-hmm. um yeah so the the owners are in dubai and they wanted to have um because the um the owners are artists um which has a creative studio in dubai so he wanted to have a home, uh, a gallery where he could showcase his um, his works and for the local artists to showcase their works, a creative studio where he and his team could work. It's like a workshop area. And then we also have a cafe or a box shop where, um, um, yeah, people could like stop by, drink a cup of coffee while enjoying the place. So it's kind of a, a one, I mean, it is a complex type of uh, different spaces all joined into one. So um, the, yeah, this was kind of a challenge um, on how do you like, um, on how do you um, combine all these different spaces that they could go in cohesive with each other. So, mm. yeah, so it is a, yeah, a gallery, a cafe, and it also has a tiny house. So yeah. Um, so yeah, it is a, different spaces in uh, in one structure yeah it's actually yeah I, there's a, there's a structure in baguio right i am um, for those who are not watching actually uh, uh, architect Awan kali is joining us today from baguio yeah. there is that uh ben cab museum yes baguio, yeah. right? it's very popular to the tourists um multi-layered i've been there i enjoyed my 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 time there i mean it's art and they have fresh food so and this one is in Batangas, you said, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, okay. This is this is a functional use of space. And again, natural light. Yes. All across. Yeah. Yeah. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, yeah. So this this one, it's not a living space, right? This this work of yours is really like a studio um, yes. exhibition area. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, a mix of, uh, a mixed use development in a way, yeah. Mixed so, youth development. Okay. Yeah, so like, I mean, um, one of the concepts that came into our mind while designing this project is the concept of the hanging gardens, um, which is yeah the biblical Babylon. Yes. Uh, we call it. So 
I see. Yeah, so it is one of the, um, I am really fascinated with the sketches, drawings of Babylon on how it looks like. So, and I was thinking, what if we apply the concept of uh, Babylon into the modern day living? So, um, so I was like developing uh, like a new style of um, kinda, kinda style, which um, we call the Neo Babylon, which also, which I know could also stir up some kind of controversies for yes. our um, yes. uh, senior architect. So yeah, um, yes. it's like, yeah, um, make a forest on your roof. Like that's the main concept is like, um, if you have a roof slab, use it as a as a green space um give mm -hmm. back to the to what you to what you used so yeah so in time so this um project is the entire building i mean the entire structure mm -hmm. is roofed i mean is protected with a green roof so um mm -hmm. if, you have, if you have a bird's eye view um it's all green you wouldn't mm -hmm. know that there's a structure there but once you go like um in a normal normal eye view perspective, you will see that it is all concrete. And in time, like we we want to have um, um, like grass and uh, like the local um, floras and fauna that would just grow on the roof. Like the grass will just grow wild, um, no maintenance. And during the summer, it'll dry out. And during the um, rainy season, it'll just go wild. So it is um you just let it um let it uh, go on its drive in that environment yes, yeah. Yes, exactly. yeah yeah so i think i think you know it's again without necessarily calling it the neo babylon right i think yes. to your point for controversy it's it's a great use of space and it and again right the greenery the the whole concept i think you know where we are right now this becomes more and more relevant to a lot of people yeah but it's really a collaboration with the right architect to execute yeah. and pull off something like this yeah right so to get to those who are watching us we really encourage you to you know speak to architects don't just go off and you know click pictures that you like on 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 the internet and then paste them all together because it needs to be well thought of right like the way every space is like for instance you're protruding windows the angles of it and then you use it as like a day bed of sorts right yeah. i mean those are the things that you know an architect can really help you leverage every inch of your space yes. so yes. for those that are watching diy is great but if it is your first time, it's best that you really consult with architects because they'll help you think through it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. So that's the gray area. Now I mean, wait, sorry. Yeah, I'll just ahead. add something of the features of the gray area. So sure. I just wanna um share that we only um used around um 30% of the lot. Like um percent of the lot. So, okay. Yeah, so 70% of the lot will be used as open space and um, farming and uh, for herbs. So yeah, in that way, um, yeah, I mean, I um, I wanna in encourage the new, I mean, new architects, new designers to like, because sometimes when you see a lot, like, okay, let's, big, let's build a big, um, let's occupy the entire lot so that there's no space being wasted. So with that, you wanna reverse it. Like we want to use as, um, the smallest parcel of land as possible in order to have more spaces for outdoor living and for um, for the herbs and the um, vegetations um, and farming, um, urban farming. Um, oh, yeah. Think, yeah. So I think this, this work of your shows, are, right? Um, yes, yeah. Like the space is, there's ample space for what you need. Yeah. You know, but you still have that open yeah, yeah. space. Go ahead, architect. You're yeah. going to say something. Yeah, um, that's um, that's really great. Um, yeah, it's it's also actually um, the concept of minimalism that you only use what you what you need. Um, no, uh, no more. No, um, nothing to um, uh, you, and you return which is uh, what is um, 
Um, what do you call this? Um, the excess. You return what is excess. So yeah, um, yeah. So um, one of the one another feature of this gray area is the the pond, the pond um oriented mm. oriented towards the gallery because uh -huh. um the gallery space um because the owners wanted to be a multi-functional space that if there's no show it could be converted as a yoga studio. Mm, okay. So that's yeah. why you have those mats there. Yes, yeah, exactly. So imagine yourself being in this space, meditating, um, oriented towards this seamless pond. Um, it creates um, yeah, like what I've said in the first episode. Yeah, it, it creates an emotion, a different emotion that you don't feel in a normal, I mean. Uh, the normal no, space, yes. Yes, yes. yes, yes. So just being so, in the space actually puts you in the mood to do a certain thing. Yes, yeah, so exactly. Puts you in the right mood. Yeah, like that's the um I think um yeah, people always um yeah. So I think in designing, um yeah, you should be able to create a sense of emotion to to a certain place. So yeah, it is um it's a multifunctional um um, structure that all uh, coincides with each other. Um, so, yeah. All right. No, it's it's actually great that you've highlighted that. Um, it's a multi-purpose uh, space. So, again, very practical, very functional, and again, very elegant to look at. That's the gray area. Yeah, the all right. Area. I think we have one more because uh, we're running out of time here. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah. I just want to take a look at this because this is also a, a, a grand design you've got here. The boot camp. Excretion boot camp extension. Yeah, yeah. This is the, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of the youth or the younger generation would appreciate it. Um Execration is a esport team of the Philippines that that represents the Philippines. It um goes overseas um with these international um, games so so yeah um, the brief is to create an extension because they already have um, so they already have a boot camp so they want to have an extension so this is this project is a combination of a cafe a souvenir shop for the um, a laundry um, a game a gamers room and a, a luxury unit for um for the guests which which apparently are mostly gamers too so this is like a home it's a home for gamers um for gamers okay uh, yeah. all right yeah. and, and and it explains the 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 fixtures as well right um yes, yes. but again the way the way you've used the pe pebhut concept here is again there's a lot of um concrete but then the greeneries that you've added, right? I mean, it helps. Like this, this, this photo of this um, four-panel computer screens. Yes. On the yeah. earth, right? And yeah. the backdrop is all green. Yes. Right? It does it does soften? You know yeah. the yeah. the hardcore tech. Yes. That's going on here, right? Yeah, it softens it. Yeah. yeah. It's also like um an. Uh, an emergence of, um, I mean, a combination of um, the the current technology and green architecture all came like it all came together. Um, like um, yeah, typically you would have um, a gamer's room to be really dark, and then it is just um, you just apply um, accent lightings to have this type of aesthetic, but. Um, yeah, we want to add a sense of relaxation to the to the users. So instead of having a backdrop of just a dark um, a dark room, yes. we are it to a a green wall. It's a hydroponic green wall, by the way. Um, yeah, it is a huge. Um, it's a firewall, which is a green wall. It's a green firewall. Um, yeah. That's so, a great that's a great concept, Alan. So is it possible, let's say, you know, for those who are watching us, let's say they already have their homes, right? And they just want to create 
a firewall, hydroponic firewall? Is that something that you can help them out? Yes, yeah, yeah. I could um, I could share some knowledge about that. And of course, we could talk about um, how we could uh, do it moving forward. So yeah. All right. So so Amon, just because you know, as we wrap this up, um, and for those that are watching, if you want to see more of Kali Architecture, just type it online, and you will see all of the works that they have. But now let's take this opportunity as we close. Um, if 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 somebody wants to let's say renovate, is that something that you do, or are you only focused on building peb hooks? Um, I think. Um, uh, like there's, I mean, how do I say this? Um, finding the right, um, professional is also like finding the right, um, partner in a way. Um, like I want, when I accept projects, I want to have a connection with a client. Like I don't go out and just, if I see that the price is right, I just go and get the project. I want to have, I want to make sure that me, my design style, and the clients want is uh, in sync to each other. So, if they are, um, if they saw our works and they like how we approach the design and they want to renovate, they want to start from scratch or anything. But I, I mean anything. Um, we're happy to help you. But um, again, if if you want something which is not our specialty or not in our type of aesthetic, I could recommend you to another type of another architect who specializes on that. So um, yeah. All right. No, thank you. Thank you, Amon. I think that's clearly stated. And for those that are watching, right, especially those that are living abroad, right? Yes. You need you need an architect that can really execute and translate that vision of yours into reality. And I think for those who actually like what they see in this pro stock episodes where we have you you know when they reach out most likely it's going to be some of your design that they, they they'd like to expound on and make it their own all right architect amon marami pong salamat thank you so much for for joining uh and and, and gracing us with your with your work and you know this is such a a a, a different way of looking at homes in the philippines yeah. right and to those who are watching us Please uh, go online and check out uh, Cali Architects, the Brutalist Architecture Champions in the Philippines. So with that, Architect Amon, maraming salamat. Thank you so much. And for those who are watching us, thank you so much for tuning in on ProStock. And hopefully we will have um, Architect Amon join us back again in the future. Yes, yeah, sure. I would be happy. Um, I would be happy to have an actual talk where I could... Um, like engage so, the people, yeah. yeah. Showcase the finished work, right? The gray yes. area, the boot cap yeah. extension. I mean, I think once people see the actual live footage, if the owners would allow it, yeah. I mean, I think it's a great value to 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 the audience, you know, to the Filipino uh in general. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes, Thank okay. You. Yeah. And uh yeah, we we're I mean we don't stop there, like um we'll see each other soon and um yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you.